Hi, welcome back to Food Prep Friday. Another exciting Friday of prepping food for the upcoming week. Hey, I'm Jules and I love sharing kitchen tips and tricks. Meal prep, food prep, anything that makes life easier and also saves money. So today I am preparing a few doughs for some bread. So I want to stock up on my seeded loaf bread that I slice and freeze. Hot cross buns, which I want to freeze for lunch boxes and to have a stash. Then we're going to retry all the tray bake crumpets, which I will also slice up and freeze. I also need to stock up on my grated cheese for the week and I will be making a pizza sauce in the Thermomix pizza scrolls for lunch boxes to freeze, a zucchini chocolate muffin, top up of the pancake jar mix because that's super popular, and a hot chocolate powder because the temperature has gotten really cold and the kids are really enjoying having a hot chocolate in the morning. I also need to stock up on the dish powder and if I have time I'm going to be cutting up a pumpkin to roast for dinner tonight and then I'll be making cheesy breadsticks to go with the pumpkin soup. So I might have time to do that dough as well. I was wanting to try and make uh, pretzels from scratch and those will be popped in the freezer as well for lunch boxes. A uh, batch of tomato soup in the Thermomix because it's like my ultimate favourite soup and I just thought it would be nice to have on hand either in the fridge or the freezer just to pull out for a quick lunch with like a grilled cheese. Mmm, yum. So yeah, massive list today, but I am just going to see how we go and yeah, just try and get as much done as possible. So some of these recipes, I'll be recipe testing them for the blog, which I will in, in time share the recipes. We were actually going away. I wanted to prep some food that I can freeze now and then pull out before we go because we don't have an oven where we're going. Yeah, anything I can do to prep for that is going to be really, really helpful. Things like the pancake jar mix will be really great to take because that's something that we can just cook on the barbecue in a bulk lot. But mostly everything is for lunch boxes and just to go in the freezer. Otherwise, it's just stuff that's stored in the fridge that I can utilize during the week. Let's do this. To start, we're going to make pretzels. So these are like a, a classic dough pretzel. Probably not going to make like them this large. I'll probably just make them like snack size. While the um, Thermomix is doing its thing, like kneading the dough and stuff, I just prepare all the next recipe's ingredients. Just saves time and then I'm also just rolling right onto the next recipe. And that all kind of comes down to the planning and the prep. So what order you do your recipes in and like utilizing the equipment that you have so you're not doubling up on washing and pulling similar ingredients out. So that's ready to go in the hot water cupboard to rise and now I'm just going to get started on my seed dough. Do I have any? Not totally prepped, am I? <laughs> Running low on stuff, so I'm going to add that to my grocery list as soon as bread's doing its thing. Need some honey. It's just normally around a good tea tablespoon. I've already sprayed the tin, so it's ready to go. So once this tin is 
filled with the bread dough, I am going to pop it in the hot water cupboard to rise. It, it doesn't take long because it um, has a lid on it, so it proves a lot faster. So I'm going to scrape as much out as I can because my next recipe is hot cross buns and I would prefer not to wash the tin, but if I have to, I will. Because that would be three recipes in the Thermomix without washing the bowl, which is super handy, because I'm just doing three similar recipes in a row. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle with the seeds and oats. And the back part. Ready to roll. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing the hot cross buns and this is actually Brioche hot cross buns from my recipe ebook. Such a good recipe. I'm gonna make it in the Thermomix just using one of their hot cross bun recipes but adapting it with my ingredients. So pretty much I'm just using it for the bowl and the process because there's kneading involved. I don't really wanna fluff around. Just want it to be as easy as possible. Got some milk. Interesting, I haven't got grams. Now we're gonna add in the dry ingredients. I gotta really remember to follow the recipe rather than on the recipe. So everything I now do, I make sure it is in grams. The screen. 6 seconds. I've just got a little bit left from last week so I'm just actually going to add it into the same container. I'm not going to worry too much about it because it will get used up really quickly considering I'm doing pizza scrolls soon and also we'll have pizza night next week. That's the cheese done in like a minute. So next I am going to be doing the pizza sauce. I'm just going to do it in the same jug. I love that this recipe actually lasts quite a long time. So handy to have in the fridge. Now 
now we're moving on to the courgette cake. I had previously frozen this courgette from another food prep day, so it's been defrosting and it's coming in handy right now. So in here I have knotted the pretzel dough, I've just let them sit for a few minutes and now I'm just going to pop them in the baking soda bath for about 10 seconds. So it's just kind of going to give that nice coating and also that flavour to the pretzels. And then once that's done I'm going to pop it on the tray and sprinkle with some flaky salt and then that will get baked in the oven. So now I'm on to the hot cross buns, which I've had in the hot water cupboard. I've actually shaped them all, so they'll probe another, another time period. Anyway, I wanted to show you a little hack that I've recently learned when you are dealing with dough and weighing it. It's just to wrap it in some glad wrap, and then you don't have to be continuously wiping down your scales. It's already ready to go, and it can do obviously a range of different doughs. So first of all I um, weighed the pretzels and then I did the hot cross buns on here. So at the moment I've got the pretzels cooking in the oven and then these are gonna join it. So I'm just gonna pipe on the crosses. Just made up in a little snap lock bag. Something I'm not very good at. <laughs> ah, see? Kind of like piping, you kind of pink cookies. I saying you have it above whatever you're making. Kind of stretch it over. That gives you more of an accurate pipe. Can't wait to eat these. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven now and then once they are cooked I'm gonna pour over this like sticky delicious glaze and then once they cool down I will freeze them in. That'll be good because then I won't eat them all. So I have just finished the pretzels which look amazing, pretty happy with how they turned out. I want to try one to see what they're like. In the freezer. So something I just wanted to share was I'm going to be doing roast chicken soon because it's coming into autumn. I will be saving the chicken carcass making chicken stock. And I've just started a little collection baggie that I'll put in the freezer. So this was onion skins that I used today from the pizza sauce. They will be popped in the freezer and I will just add any vegetable bit and carcass in there. Once I have enough I will be making chicken stock. So that's another food prep Friday done. I think it was our fifth food prep Friday. Maybe our sixth. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I've got a seeded bread loaf ready to go in the freezer. It's been sliced. We've got our zucchini double chocolate muffins, hot cross bun. We've got pizza pastry scroll pretzels. Then over here, I've topped up the pancake mix, pizza sauce, hot chocolate powder that will last quite a while, I reckon. Some grated cheese. 